What's happening at Victoria City Council today is they're supportive of the province's move, but they want it put back to November because mm. they think that operators in their uh, city will be too squeezed over the busy summer season to, to lose money and not be prepared for this. So they're sort of the latest city to ask like, hey, province, maybe too fast on this. We have several communities, uh, some in the interior that have already asked for exemptions from this program from the province. We hear that that announcement's coming, whether they'll be allowed to be exempted. You can be exempted if you have a vacancy rate below 2%. Um, so, you know, there's some back and forth going on on here with this program that it's, it's, it's not quite a blanket fit for everybody. Right. And uh, speaking of not fitting into that blanket fit, a bit of an unexpected move. Tofino decided they wanted to opt into it, even though they're the kind of a tourist town. That's right. And there's a list of tourist uh, destinations that are exempt from the program. But Tofino saying that its community is facing too much pressure around having appropriate housing. 25% of units are short-term rentals. 50% of single detached homes in Tofino are short-term rentals. The mayor there saying yesterday to us that it's just too much. We need to protect housing. We need to be part of this program. Now he's getting pushback from people in his community who invested in properties for this vacation town mm. that they wholly expected to go by, run by the rules, have short-term rentals, uh, supplement their income. So uh, there's some tension in Tofino, but the mayor saying that our housing situation is too dire. We need to be part of this.